majestic, powerful, and awe-inspiring. Tigers, the largest of the big cats, have captivated human imagination for centuries. But what happens if we take this apex predator out of its natural habitat and introduce it to a different continent? In this video, we'll explore the characteristics of tigers, their natural habitats, and the intriguing question, can tigers survive in Africa? Tigers, scientifically known as Panthera tigris, are one of the most iconic and formidable predators on Earth. They belong to the Philidae family and are known for their distinctive orange coats with black stripes, although some can have white coats with black or brown stripes. Let's delve into some of the remarkable characteristics of tigers. Size and weight, adult tigers can reach lengths of up to 11 feet, including their tails, and can weigh between 220 to 660 pounds, depending on the subspecies. Bite force. Tigers have a powerful bite force, estimated to be around 1,050 psi pounds per square inch, allowing them to crush the bones of their prey with ease. Speed. Despite their large size, tigers are incredibly fast, capable of reaching speeds up to 40 miles per hour in short bursts. Strength. Tigers are exceptionally strong, capable of dragging prey much heavier than themselves over considerable distances. The story of tigers begins with their ancient ancestors, the prehistoric big cats. The Felidae family, which includes all modern cats, originated around 25 million years ago during the Oligocene Epoch. The earliest known true cats belong to the genus Proeleurus, small, agile predators that roamed the forests and grasslands of Europe and Asia. From Proeleurus, the lineage of big cats evolved into the genus Panthera, which includes today's tigers, lions, leopards, and jaguars. Fossil evidence suggests that the genus Panthera emerged around 2 to 3 million years ago during the Pleistocene Epoch. These early big cats were more generalized in their adaptations, allowing them to spread across various continents. The tiger lineage specifically diverged from other big cats approximately two to three million years ago. This divergence likely occurred in the region that now includes China and Southeast Asia. Fossil records from Northern China and Java show evidence of early tigers, indicating that these regions were crucial in the evolution of the species. This migration was driven by several factors, including the search for prey, suitable habitats, and the avoidance of competition with other large predators. Tigers adapted to different environments by developing unique subspecies, each suited to its specific habitat. For example, Siberian tigers, the largest of all tiger subspecies, adapted to the cold climates of the Russian Far East. Bengal tigers, found in the diverse habitats of the Indian subcontinent from grasslands to mangrove swamps. Indochinese tigers, inhabiting the dense forests of Southeast Asia. Malayan tigers, found in the tropical forests of the Malay Peninsula. Sumatran tigers, the smallest subspecies, adapted to the dense jungles of the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Today, tigers are found in amazingly diverse habitats, rainforests, grasslands, savannas, and even mangrove swamps. Unfortunately, 93% of historical tiger lands have disappeared primarily because of expanding human activity. Tigers are solitary hunters and prefer to hunt large ungulates such as deer, wild boar, and water buffalo. They rely on their stealth and strength to ambush and overpower their prey. In their natural habitats, tigers compete with other large predators such as leopards, doles, and in some regions, even bears. The idea of introducing tigers to Africa sparks an interesting debate. Africa is home to its own array of apex predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas, and wild dogs. But could tigers adapt and thrive in this new environment? In theory, tigers could survive in parts of Africa that offer similar environments to their native habitats such as savannas and dense forests. However, several factors need to be considered. Competition. African ecosystems already have established apex predators. Tigers would have to compete with lions, leopards, and hyenas for territory and prey, potentially leading to deadly conflicts. Disease and parasites. Tigers might face health challenges from diseases and parasites that they are not immune to, which are prevalent in Africa. Conservation ethics. Introducing a non-native species could disrupt the existing balance and divert conservation efforts and resources from native African wildlife. There have been attempts to bring tigers to Africa. One notable project was initiated by John Vardy, a wildlife filmmaker and conservationist, who aimed to establish a population of tigers in South Africa through the Tiger Canyons project. Vardy's project involved relocating captive bred tigers to a private reserve in South Africa. The goal was to create a self-sustaining population of tigers in a controlled environment. However, this project faced several challenges. Controlled environment. The tigers were kept in a managed reserve, which does not truly replicate the wild conditions they would face in a natural African ecosystem. Limited success. 
While the Tigers have adapted to some extent and even bred in the reserve, the project remains controversial, with debates about its long-term viability and ethical implications. Another attempt was made in September 2003. Two captive-born South China Tiger Cubs were introduced to South Africa by Lee Kwan, an ex-fashion executive from Beijing, and her husband Stuart Bray, founders of the Save China's Tigers Foundation. The two purchased 30,000 hectares of land in South Africa for the breeding project, which aimed to rewild them in the continent before moving them back to China. But it was met with criticism after several of the cubs died. While tigers possess the physical characteristics and adaptability that could, in theory, allow them to survive in certain parts of Africa, the practical and ethical challenges make such an introduction complex and potentially problematic. Tigers belong to Asia, where they play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance. Conservation efforts are best focused on preserving their natural habitats and ensuring the survival of these magnificent creatures in their native ranges. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like. Share and subscribe for more wildlife content.